Hi, my name is Carolyn Wellman and I'm known as the Contest Queen. My online winning system that I outlined in my first book, You Can't Win If You Don't Enter, was so successful, people had won over a million dollars using my methods. And I've updated it in my latest book called How to Win Cash, Cars, Trips and More. Not only did I modernize the system, I've added in a whole section on social media. So now you can learn how to win on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram. Check it out today and you too can be a winner. Hi everyone, welcome again to Author Story. I'm Alexander Lim, your host. And for this episode, I'm interviewing Carolyn Willman, author of the book, How to Win Cash, Cars, Trips, and More. Mm, interesting title there. And for those of you following along who are interested, you can go over now to the Amazon link in the description below the video and check out or get a copy of her book. So Carolyn, welcome to Author Story. Thanks for being our guest. Thank you for having me on. I'm very excited to talk about my favorite topic, winning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's everyone's favorite topic. But first off, let me just say that we're conducting this interview on March 15th, which means that St. Patrick's Day is just a couple of days away. So given the timing, I'm sure there are lots of folks out there who would be interested to find ways in getting some of the, uh, the luck of the Irish for themselves. Absolutely. <laughs> cool. So Carolyn, can you please just tell us a little bit about yourself and the book? What's your author's story? Well, it's actually a, an interesting story. I I started um, entering contests when I was a kid. I remember, you know, hearing something on the radio. I'm going to date myself here and dialing on a rotary dial phone to win tickets okay, um, right. you know, for things. And I was a teenager. And so I knew you could win things because I had one, you know, once in a while I managed to get through and, and win tickets or something. And um, when I was... When I was older, I found myself in, um, in 2001, I found myself in the dot-com crunch. I had been marketing for, you know, um, a de decade and a half at that point. Mm -hmm. And I'm lying in bed reading a book, a Reader's Digest, and they had an article in there about a couple who entered contests on a daily basis as a hobby. Mm -hmm. And Meanwhile, I'm unemployed, and I knew you could win, and I thought, what a good idea. I'll just win stuff for a living. Right. I'm going to tell you, it doesn't work. Okay. I've been trying for, for a long time. It hasn't happened yet. Uh, but A lot of people um, dream. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't work. Okay. But what it has done was put me on a path that, of adventures that I never would have imagined. So not only have I won prizes that – made my pocketbook ease up a bit but I've gone on trips and met people that I never would have met um, both through winning and just the hobby so not only do um, ha you know one of my favorite prizes is I got to meet Sting well when in my everyday life would I meet Sting that never is gonna happen True. so you know you can get to do stuff like that but then there's also believe it or not sweepstakes conventions mm -hmm. and I've gone to them every year since 2005, and I've met the most amazing, fun, positive people that, that have, some of them have become lifelong friends that I never would have made had I not stuck in, you know, an entry online or filled out a ballot. Right. So it's really amazing how it's not, actually, I think my friends are better than the prizes. That's what I always say, because I never would have met these people yeah so it's really it's really neat so can and so I interrupt you but if i might yeah. i might ask because some of our listeners might not be familiar with what sweepstakes conventions are what are these so it's a gathering it it's just what it sounds like okay. it's a gathering of people that like to enter sweepstakes mm. for um either a day or a weekend okay um i'm actually co-hosting one this summer in california wow called SweepsCon 2017. And what happens is, is that it's everybody who likes to understand mistakes gets together. So first, it's a great place to meet people who are like-minded because if when, a lot of times when you enter sweepstakes as a hobby and you win, you consistently win, mm -hmm. people 
don't like you anymore. They they get jealous. They don't realize you put in, you know, hours and hours and hours entering every week right. to win, you know, a few prizes. But uh, you also learn a lot. I have never been to an event that I didn't learn something. Wow. And and I've been doing this for, for more than 15 years. There's always something to learn. Wow. So there's speakers that come and talk about different aspects of the hobby. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, there's prize draws. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> right? Try your luck there. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah try. And so, and it's, it's a lot of fun. So that's where I, I first started meeting in person fellow, fellow sweepstakers mm -hmm. or sweepers right. as they're known. Okay. And, and it's just, yeah, it's just phenomenal. Uh, some of the friends, friends I've made from attending those that, like I said, it's better than some of the prizes. Mm, cool. Nice. So next, Carolyn, let's move on to the book. Would you mind uh, telling us, for the benefit of those who aren't familiar with it, would you mind telling us a little bit more about it and what it's all about? Yeah, so how, how it came about, and actually this is the second edition. So how it came about was I was still unemployed and I had a, and I had a daughter. Um, so I had stayed home with her. And then when she was two and a half, I thought I wanted to go back to work. But marketing, you know, working in an office environment wasn't conducive to being the kind of mom I had chosen that I wanted to be. And I had gone on a winning streak and everyone kept saying to me, what's your secret? And because I was a marketer, I had taken my marketing skills and applied it to the hobby. Mm. So I was doing something different than what most people would do. Right. And after a while I thought I should write this down. Mm. And I wasn't sure if I should, should write a book on it. And I was going to a girlfriend's house to have coffee. And I, and I, for some reason, I drove a different way than I normally do. And I passed the church. And on the service announcement board, it said, you can't lose helping others win. And I thought, oh, that's a sign. That's like literally people say, please, God, can I have a sign? And I had a literal sign. <laughs> <laughs> right. And so I decided to write the book. And so this was way back in 04. And I started writing my first book, which is called You Can't Win If You Don't Enter. Right. And I had, and the sweepstakes hobby has changed, like pretty much mail-in has virtually disappeared. And of course, social media has just exploded. So I knew it was time to, you know, update the book, rip out chapters, add in chapters, change new stories, new adventures, all that stuff. Mm. So um, that's how How to Win Cash Cars, Trips and More came about is I took, I, I, I basically revamped the book. So 50% of it is, is new. Mm -hmm. Um, especially the social media chapter. That's the meat of this new edition because that's where the majority of sweepstakes have, have drifted to because of the engagement right. with um, consumers. That's what companies love. And so, of course, that's where they, they go from a business perspective, which just means that's where the hobby goes because you want to win. <laughs> okay, cool. So uh, about the book then, is this all about, you know, just to clarify for our listeners, is this all about... Uh, Okay, because uh, the, the title sounds, you know, pretty interesting. So is there anything in here like um, a formula that you can use to uh, win the sweepstakes? Or is this more, is this, are there other topics also involved? No, it's actually, it's the only how step-by-step -step how to book out there there's there's other books on sweepstakes lots of great tips i know a lot of the authors love them All right um but what i do that's different in my book is i literally take you step by step so for example one of my favorite things to use when sweepstaking is a tool called roboform because it helps you enter faster and correctly because your data, you know, you won't misspell your name or your phone number or right. your email because then you can't get contacted. Right. So I take you step by step how to use it. Okay, click here. And I have screenshots and I circle things. And I say, okay, click on this. Scroll down to that. Right. Type in this. Right. Like literally step by step, which makes it so much easier for people. Right. And I also point out the biggest mistakes people make mm -hmm. and how you can avoid them. Mm -hmm. Because... The number one thing to do is not enter correctly and you've immediately disqualified yourself and you're wasting your time. Right. And so the, the key, the key to the book is to, I tell people, I teach you to find, organize, enter and win sweepstakes. And to me, the key is the organize because you want to enter the maximum amount of sweepstakes in the shortest amount of time. Okay. 
you know, and it's also not something I also want to make, point it out that this isn't something you do all day. Okay. Like people think, you know, I sit at my computer for eight hours a day. Right. Entering. No, I do sit at my computer eight hours a day, but I'm working. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I only enter for an hour, maybe two, hmm. if I'm lucky. It's rare. Like, uh, you know, if I get a rare Sunday afternoon where I get to sit with a couple of pots of tea and enter for, you know, right. three, four hours. Wow. That's like joy. That that doesn't happen very often for me. Right. Cool. So. OK. But right. De so definitely. Some that's time. what I teach people. All right. So definitely like some time has to be spent, uh, spent doing the work. I mean, you don't just, you know, just go to the corner store and lottery ticket and that's it. You start winning then. Well, you know, there is stories in my book of people who've won. I mean, I, I have this one story of a woman who won a car on her first try. Hmm, and I mean, that's right. I know it's crazy. I love it because I want to show people that, yeah, you can you can win on the first go. Like it doesn't ma mean that you can't go to one that has an instant win component and win in 10 minutes from now. I mean, you very well may do that. It's completely plausible that that would happen. But I teach people that, you know, it's it's. It's you, you enter more than you're going to win. Mm -hmm. I part, part of the, the fun of it is I believe that I'm going to win everything I enter. Mm -hmm. I don't, but I, okay. I always think about it. Right. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> That's part of the fun of it. Part of, to me, part of the hobby is not just the entry, but it's the dreaming about it. And ooh, wouldn't this be fun? And then, you know, uh, sometimes to get extra entries, you share it on Facebook and you think, oh, and sometimes I get my friends will message me, oh my God, you posted this and I won it. I'm like, oh, I'm so happy for them because, you know, if it wasn't me, at least it's somebody that I knew that gets the joy out of that that prize. Cool, cool, fantastic. So it's, it's yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds pretty good. So Carolyn, you've done, done some research on like the industry and all that, haven't you? I have. See, but that's where being a marketer. So I've been a marketer now for 30 plus years. <laughs> I think the number keeps going up. <laughs> and so, but that's where, that's where I make my living. So I, I was a, a general marketer for years and then a digital. And now what I do is I specialize in sweepstakes marketing. So I, I, on one hand, I teach people how to win and where I earn my living is I work with companies on maximizing their sweepstakes, making sure they're correct. You know, I, I help write rules. I pre-vet promotions. I viral market promotions for companies. Um, so that's where I, I make my living. So it's, it's actually really interesting because I see it from both sides. Oh. I can see it from an entrance perspective and I understand what the marketers are doing. Okay, cool. So maybe, maybe, I don't know, can you like give us some, some figures on how much, how much is actually spent like a year on promotions, lottery, sweepstakes, okay. and, and that sort of thing? Well, lotteries are separate. Okay. Because there's actually a legal definition. There's actually a legal definition between a contest, a sweepstakes, and a lottery. So a lottery, you have to have a prize with a consideration. So you, a consideration means money okay. for a chance. Right. And a sweepstakes has the consideration removed mm -hmm. by definition. So you just enter for free. And okay. a contest is generally something like a photo contest. You'll see them a lot like at state fairs, for example. And they, you know, you pay an entry fee and they're judged. So the chance is then removed. Right. So that's how the three are defined. Mm -hmm. And I, I have to tell you, I'm not good at the lottery because I, I think I'm a little bit of a miser. Mm -hmm. Um. And I don't like to spend the money, which is why I like sweepstakes, because they're free. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> right? Yep. Um, you know, not that said, if I'm feeling it, I will buy lottery tickets. <laughs> All right. You know, or a scratch off occasionally. I'm like, ooh, I'm feeling lucky. Let's get us, you know, yeah. I'll, I'll spend I'll spend a little bit. It's it's fun sometimes. True. And and our annual, I have I have a local contest club and every year our annual a Christmas party, we go to the local uh, slots, the local uh, casino, mm -hmm. and we have dinner in the, the restaurant there, and then we all go gamble for a couple hours. Okay, okay. So, you know, it's not like it never happens. It's just rare. Okay. Right? All right. <laughs> but, like, annually, about how much is spent on uh, on, on sweeps? About, and yeah, now, now, Companies in the U.S. spend about the last number I have extrapolated out is about four billion dollars. Wow! So this now, this is a, a penny a, and dime thing. This is this is big business. This is a big industry. 
it, it is a big business. And I'll give you an example. And I didn't realize how big it was. Uh, um, I reside in Canada. Okay. But most of what I do is in the United States because your market, the United States market is obviously so much bigger than Canada or other countries. Mm. So we had a contest here to win a trip with one of the, a lot of the beer companies love to hold sweepstakes. And okay. I didn't realize how much bigger it was in the States than it was in Canada because we had won a trip one year uh, with uh, Coors Light to go to Banff, Alberta mm -hmm. and for a ski weekend. And it was two busloads of people. And they gave away these trips all across Canada in bars, online, right. on text, on, right. and a whole variety of ways. And so they had basically, you know, a hundred winners that, went on this trip mm -hmm. and I was talking to some of my friends at sweepstakes conventions and they every year and some of them are so lucky they've gone on more than one they win trips on the Bud Light cruise okay. and I thought okay they you know give about 100 trips away and 100 people go on this cruise ship with Bud Light no it's so big that the beer company actually charters the entire boat wow. and gives away enough prizes to fill the boat oh okay. and I, it just blew my mind they give okay. they, now i don't know if they're still running it i haven't checked for this year and and i heart radio for example at one point when they have their big concert they give away a trip an hour like you listen on i heart radio station you get the code you text it in and in 10 minutes they'll call somebody and they've instantly won a trip to the i heart radio concert the big one that i think is in vegas every year Mm -hmm. And that, so they give away hundreds of these things. So the, the, the opportunity to win. Now that number isn't prizes. Mm -hmm. Have $4 billion is all of it. So the amount spent on, um, you know, fulfillment, marketing, right. you know, execu all the executionables as, as a marketer. And then the prize is then a part of that figure. But that still means there's enough prizes for everybody to win. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, if, if, like, only half of that money went to prizes, we're still talking $20 billion worth of stuff. Uh, no, it's not 40, it's four. Oh, so it'd be, four. yeah, 20, 20 million. Yeah, so, yeah, it's, I, I would say it's... I mean, yeah, still $2 billion. Several hundred million in prizes. And, and, and there's prizes from everything. Like, you'll see everything from $25 gift cards to you know, big jackpots of like $50,000 or more. So there's, there's prizes in every range. Wow. Okay. And, and what's nice is the types of prizes. So there's two types of prizes I like to talk about. The first one is what I call experiential, which is stuff that money can't buy. Right. You know, like I said, um, I had the chance to meet Sting once mm -hmm. or sometimes sure. people win, you know, we just had the Oscars cause it's been, some of my sweepstakes friends won trips to the red carpet Oscars and they sit, you know, when they watch the stars go by. When You don't get to do that. That's not everyday life. So those are really cool experiences. Sure. And then there's stuff that will just ease your budget. Like last year, I won a big basket of makeup from um, this online blogger. He's fabulous. Hmm. And so, I'm, and I needed new makeup. So that's money now. I don't have to spend out of my budget. Mm hmm for something that I needed. And now I can spend that money either to save up for something or put it towards bills or, um, and, and it's, you know, and it's, so it, it helps both financially and, and adventure wise. Right. All right. Cool. Interesting. Interesting. Got that. Okay. So Carolyn, you know, some people might think, you know, oh, this is a promotion, sweepstakes, whatever. People are going to try to lock. I'm only one of them, you know, so my chance of winning are slim to none and, you know, chance are slim just left town. Um, you know, a lot, <laughs> a lot of people are going to have that kind of mindset. Now, is there, um, I know some sort of, uh, luck factor, factor of luck that can come into play that can like change their attitude. And so it becomes more winning. So they might actually win something. It's true. I love people with that attitude because that means there's more opportunity for me to win. <laughs> right. the, the, you, you, first of all, one of the things I tell people is you have to think you're lucky. If you, if you don't think you're lucky, you're not going to be lucky. And the odds, yes, I enter far more than I win. That is true. But my odds of winning are far greater than the lottery. And a lot of people will spend money on the lottery, mm -hmm. yet they won't enter sweepstakes. And I find that mind-boggling because my odds of winning a sweepstakes are far greater. 
Mm-hmm. And and actually what's really neat is there's a, a Dr. Richard Wiseman, he wrote a book called The Luck Factor. Okay. Which is really neat. And it was a scientific study on luck. And he proved that people who had like a more positive outlook mm-hmm. or believed in opportunity, right. their brains are actually wired to see more opportunity. Interesting. So I, I always joke that I can spot the word win at 100 paces because my brain is wired to spot a sign or a billboard or an announcement or something that flashes across my computer screen. Mm. The word, you know, prize, giveaway, win, con- I can spot that quickly because that's I'm constantly looking for it. So I see it. Mm. It's like this. Have you ever decided you wanted a new car? Yeah. Yeah. And you're shopping around and then all of a sudden what do you notice you're driving around and what what do you see i, I see the, all you see is that car right right that, that, so that's, if that's you start right and you're like wow i didn't notice there was so many of them before right true 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 <laughs> so now the minute you kind of program yourself for that mm-hmm that's what you see. So I, mm-hmm. I, pro, I have basically programmed myself to believe I'm going to win and to see the word, you know, giveaway. Right, and right. that's what I, I bring into my life. Mm. So it's, it's, it's how you, it's how you approach it. Mm. And, and I enter everything. Like you'd be amazed at what, and I try, like I enter, you know, online, if I'm in a shop and, you know, I'll fill out a form, I'm at an event. You know, I'll throw in my business card. I always keep business cards with me. Right. I do. You know, I I enter all of them. I tried this morning. I was on the radio. Okay. I got through caller 24. I had to be caller 30. I'm like, no. (laughs) You know, but I try. Yeah. Next hour. Next hour, I might be the the right caller. You don't know. Right. Right. True. So I try all of them. There's So you can enter in person. So if you're at an event or in a restaurant, you know, that drop business cards. I do all those call in. Of course, the radio wants to keep the radio stations want to keep you engaged. Of course. Yeah. And then there's mail in, which is really dying out. Mm -hmm. But occasionally there's laws. So sweeps, there's sweepstakes laws. There's actually lawyers that specialize in sweepstakes laws because um, the rules, I should tell people that my number one tip is always read the rules because the rules are a legal and binding contract between the entrant and the sponsor. Mm hmm. And people don't realize it. And they're actually written by lawyers because they need to be able to stand up in court if something happens. Right, right. Oh. Which is people don't realize how, how um, this is why it's important that people just don't, you know, have promotions willy nilly that there, there's actually, you know, business ethics behind it. Right. You know, um, so I tell people always read the rules because that's how you're going to know where, where you can enter. You know, what if, what if the rules say you can enter once on Facebook, once on Twitter, once on Instagram? Well, if you only enter on Facebook, you've lost out on two opportunities to win. Right. What if it says you can enter every day? Mm-hmm. Well, if you only enter once, you miss maybe on another 29 chances to enter that month. Mm-hmm. If it says one entry, I was famous for this when I was married. I would get so excited. I'd see a contest and enter me. I'd enter my spouse. I'd go and read the rules after and go, okay, oh, it's okay, one okay. entry per household. Right, right, right. One entry per household. I've immediately disqualified myself. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm like, oh. And and as someone who's a sweepstakes marketer, I do drawings for companies mm-hmm. and, and things like that. And I do something, what they call in the industry, a dedupe. And we go through and we check to make sure nobody's cheating. Okay. And we, and depending on what the rules say, we either remove all but one or all of that person's entries. So you could, you may or may not still have a chance to win if you screw it up. Okay. So that's why, that's why reading the rules is the number one thing right. to do. Okay. Cool. Interesting. Interesting. So, uh, what's this? Okay. Carolyn, um, Let's say you met up with someone, a person, say, who wants to try his luck in a sweepstakes, some other promotion, something like that. And you had only enough time to tell this person one thing about how to increase, you know, if possible, dramatically, his chance of winning. What would be that one thing you would tell that person? And why would you tell him that? Uh, I would tell him to enter, enter, enter. Okay. Because it's, an, it's a numbers game. Mm-hmm. I... I you know, you've, 
you've probably spoken to authors who talk about sales and marketing. Right. And and it's a funnel, right? The more people you engage with, the more cold calls they make, the more warm leads they get, the more sales they make or hot prospects they get. Right. And it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'll enter a hundred and I might win one or two. Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah. it's, it's, it's a numbers game. So enter, enter, enter is my advice because you just don't know what's going to hit. And it's funny because I go on, on, it, they seem to come in waves. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll go weeks without entering. And then one day I'll get, I'll win three prizes that one day. And then I'll go, okay. you know, a week and then I might win one thing. And it's like, and it, it goes up and down. So I don't know which one it is. Okay. So I want to enter all of them because you don't know if you're going to win that little gift basket or the, the trip right. or the big screen TV or the car. You don't know which one it is. Right. Okay. So it really is, it really boils down to the numbers game. Okay. I got that. Interesting. Okay. So, um, you know, this is, this is such an interesting topic and, you know, but uh, I got to start winding it down now. Uh, are there any last words of wisdom you'd like to share, Carolyn, to inspire our listeners? Yeah, I would. I, I, I think it's something you should try. It, and I don't want to get people discouraged because sometimes they don't win right away. Yes. And what happens is, is they'll start off and they'll start entering. Right. And they, they won't win right away. And I call it January at the gym. Okay. You don't go in for a week. You know, everyone says, I'm going to lose out, you know, 20 pounds right. that I've got. And okay. they'll go to the gym for one week in January and they haven't lost anything and they're sore and they're like, ah, give up. Right. But you, you can't lose that 20 pounds, you know, in, in one session or one week at the gym. You have to go consistently over a period of time and winning is no different. Right. So I tell people you have to, be at it consistently for a while. Not saying you can't instantly win right away by, you know, you might be lucky, but you have to do it with some consistency over a period of time. And the people that stick with it, everybody that I know does win. It just takes time. So I want to tell people that not to give up right away, to give it, you know, at least three months of entering daily, and then they can see some results. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Well, definitely something that's just definitely a good takeaway right there. So in closing, then the book is how to win cash, cars, trips, and more. The authors are guest Carolyn Wilman, and you can find her book on Amazon and also at her website at contestqueen.com. Just uh, follow the links. So Carolyn, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for being an author story. It's very insightful having you here today. Thank you so much for having me. I love sharing uh, anything about luck, winning, and prizes. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, and I'm sure a lot of people will like hearing things about luck, winning, and prizes too, <laughs> especially if they get the prizes. <laughs> yeah, the prizes are the best. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. So if any of you listeners want to know more about this fascinating topic, feel free to go ahead and check out How to Win Cash, Cars, Trips, and More, which you can do so right now by going to the Amazon link in the description below the video. And of course, if you'd like to follow our author interviews on YouTube, I invite you to subscribe to our channels. So bye for now, everyone. I'll be back next time on Author Story with another inspiring author.